One was brands continued to struggle with accessibility to subscriptions and repeat purchases. And while there were more apps than ever, it became more cumbersome to install and get live with the apps than ever, um, which led to high costs. And obviously 2024 and 2023 brought us a time where brands were looking to save money more than ever. So we wanted to do a couple of things. We wanted to consolidate tech stack. We heard a lot about brands frustrated with just managing too many relationships with tech providers. And while there are some really essential tech providers we believe need to be their own platforms, um, we thought that loyalty complemented our platform really nicely. And ultimately what we wanna do is make it easy for businesses to launch subscriptions, manage them and drive more of that repeat business. We, we're not prejudiced, we're, we're good with any kind of recurring business. And in fact, what we saw is those repeat recurring buyers are the most likely to become subscribers. So totally you're on point. Uh, it was a very natural evolution for us and it has been great for our brands. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're quite right. I mean, there's about 10,000 apps in the app store right now. So it's, it's, it's massive and uh, it's always, and it always was the case to have as little apps as possible in your store, just to keep it manageable. Now you told me before that you were digging into data and you found out that people come first to loyalty and then dive into subscriptions. From your experience, what kind of products work best for offering this kind of combination? Great question. So it's twofold. Subscriber only models work really well with consumable products. We see among the highest in terms of revenue generated and LTV would be supplements, pet products, baby products. So think things that you're willing to spend money on, right? Your children, your pets, your other children, and yourself, your health. So those are the three that with even without a loyalty program, we see consistently performing without a doubt. Now, there are slightly more challenging verticals. I will say no matter how wonderful your product is, selling beverages online, selling food products online, um, that comes with a number of challenges. The number one being competition. There you know, is, is an option set for consumers today where there are many products that they can be trying, many of which are delicious and amazing. Um, just focusing on food for, for this example, food and beverage for this example. What we found is that loyalty amplifies the ability to keep that customer going back to your product. 